little bit than one and a half year ago, I and Cesare have met first time during the artistic group meeting. Not so long time later, after one of common exhibitions, he told me his idea. to prepare our own exhibitions of photographer and painter. The cornerstone of this idea was the statement that almost every painter uses images to paint from, but almost no one ever talks about it. was to make something contrary. We wanted to present my pictures and Cesare's paintings, which are to be based on them. They should be shown side by side to let the viewers see that paint from image is not just a copy-paste object. Both pieces of art can be so different even though they present the same subject. They both are loaded with personal expressions that the final result, independently on technique, is very, very unique. My images are exclusively black and white, but Cesare's works are colorful. This makes the setup even more interesting. to let the audience to search on prints, the color and textures shown on paintings. And in reverse, they may notice that so clearly presented subjects from images reproduced by painter may look in very distinct way. work on exhibition, two small concepts appeared. I proposed to have one art piece made as really shared work. The title print, which we selected, were supposed to be partially painted by Cesare to obtain kind of mixed technique art. It has been glued onto wooden plank to look more like painting than a picture. Another idea was to add the image, which I created to visualize my old vision which I have had in my head for a while.
the monumental cathedral made out of sand to show how big monuments can fall apart in a few seconds, how fragile they can be. Having no skills in painting, I tried to realize it as photography, but it was never fully what I originally imagined. Cesare's skills fill the gap to create the final image. Those two mixed techniques art pieces are special items on exhibition and are supposed to emphasize what can be created when two creators skilled in two different techniques, very often having different visions, try to align and collaborate in sake of beauty. Work on this exhibition was a very eye-open experience in many aspects. We learned a lot from each other and by ourselves. The only imitation of subject we agreed for was to focus only on some kind of human-created objects in urbanized areas. Human beings could have been there too, of course, but only as a distant silhouette. This limited freedom made my images vary a lot in topics, but the light greatness, as I believe, has been kept as common factor between them, as well as the general calm mood I aimed for. We gave ourselves one half year to prepare final material, mainly due to the fact that in the beginning we were a little bit afraid we couldn't align. I was more afraid, as I understood later. Cesare claimed from the beginning he would fully rely on my images selections, but we could have decided together if I had a doubt, of course. Surprisingly, this process of selection went extremely smooth and fast, so we were ready with material much in advance to plan the exhibition date. This fact has pushed us to be even more creative and focus more on presentation which was equally important as content. First topic was a framing. We decided to make it by our own hands, instead to order in the workshop. 99% of job was done by Cesare. I participated only in ideas. Next step was to plan the layout, the lights and interior of gallery. The aim was to create for each per painting print their own small universe, to let the spectator focus on them, instead being distracted with number of other stimuli. Since gallery is a bit small, it was not easy to do. We both believe it, it could have been done even better in different circumstances.
Robert Cesare, this approach let him evolve in his creation process and finally find a style he enjoys a lot. This evolution is very visible in his paintings, like a story of his development. In contrary, photographs, which are more consistent, reflects my style become even more solid.